New at 5 o'clock, a Fremont County Commissioner is calling for more transparency from the prison system following the escape of a prisoner. That escape happened at the East Canyon City Prison Complex off of Highway 50. That's where we find KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers live this evening with the latest. Annabelle. Bart Heather, this map shows the entire layout of this prison complex, and there's a point at about the center which shows the Arrowhead Correction Center, and that's where that inmate escaped from. That inmate is back in custody tonight, but the escape is prompting a Fremont County commissioner to sound the alarm about conditions inside the complex, which he believes could be leading to issues with public safety and issues for staff. Just after 8 Sunday night, the Department of Corrections sent out an alert to Canyon City residents. Prison inmate 30-year-old Richmond T. Johnson had escaped, and local law enforcement were searching for him. Johnson was found hours later, but the incident is sparking conversation yet again, surrounding prison safety amid ongoing staffing shortages. We want to make sure the state does what they can to ensure a safe environment for them. Since the opening of the Old Max Territorial Prison in 1871, Fremont County has been Colorado's correctional capital, housing over 5,000 prisoners among six DOC facilities. A good relationship overall for the last 150 years with some growing concerns over the last 10. In the last decade, Fremont County Commission Chairman Kevin Grantham says he's heard many concerns from staff inside. But at the same time, he's heard very little from the Department of Corrections as new state laws allow for inmates to move more freely in the prison complex. We don't really know the details on how that works. And it seems that sometimes we're told one thing and then another thing happens. That lack of transparency is worrying Grantham as the East Canyon City Prison Complex struggles with staffing. It only jeopardizes the safety of those that are still employed there even more so. We reached out to the Department of Corrections to ask them questions on where they found Johnson and how he escaped in the first place. But they said there is an active investigation into that escapee, so they could not answer our questions at this time. Reporting live at the Canyon City Prison Complex, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13.